let us discuss direct from realization of IR filters. The general transfer function for any IR digital filter is of the form h of z is equal to y of z by x of z which in turn is equal to summation k varies from 0 to m bk z raised to minus k divided by 1 plus summation k varies from 1 to n ak z raised to minus k. Here the numerator part indicates zeros of the transfer function and denominator part indicates poles of the transfer function. To realize the filters, the elementary blocks or the basic blocks required are unit delay, constant multiplier and adder. IR filters can be realized in different forms that is direct form 1, direct form 2 structure and cascade structure, parallel structure and ladder structure. Let us take direct form 1 realization of IR filter. The general structure of IR filter is written here. The transfer function h of z is split into two sub transfer functions that is h1 of z and h2 of z. While realizing direct form 1 h1 of z and h2 of z should be connected in series like this. The first block represent h1 of z. Here for first block the input is say x of n and say the output is w of n, intermediate output w of n. The z transform of x of n is x of z, z transform of w of n is w of z. Therefore, I can write the transfer function h1 of z is equal to w of z by x of z. Let us consider h1 of z as zeros of the transfer function. As we know, this is the numerator part is zeros of the h of z and denominator is poles of the h of z. Now consider h2 of z as denominator which is nothing but poles of h of z. For h2 of z for this block the input is w of n and the output is y of n. So I can write h2 of z is equal to y of z divided by w of z. w of z is the z transform of w of n. Similarly in direct form 2 realization again the transfer function h of z is split into h1 of z and h2 of z such that here we will consider h1 of z as poles of h of z. So this is poles of h of z and h2 of z is zeros of h of z. For h1 of z the input is x of n, output is w of n. Therefore the transfer function h1 of z can be represented as w of z divided by x of z. So here h1 of z is equal to poles of h of z that is h1 of z is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus summation k varies from 1 to n a k z raised to minus k. h2 of z is zeros of the h of z that is h2 of z is equal to numerator that is summation k varies from 0 to m b k z raised to minus k and the output is y of n. Let us take one example. Draw the block diagram of direct form 1 and direct form 2 realization for a digital IIR filter described by the system function. Here the system function given that is h of z is equal to 8z cube minus 4z square plus 11z minus 2 divided by z minus 1 by 4 z square minus z plus 1 by 2. First simplify the given expression. We can write it as the numerator will be as it is in denominator open the bracket and simplify. We will get z cube minus z square plus 1 by 2 z minus 1 by 4 z square plus 1 by 4 z minus 1 by 8. Simplify it further. We will get 8 z cube minus 4 z square plus 11 z minus 2 divided by z cube minus 5 by 4 z square plus 3 by 4 z minus 1 by 8. While realizing using direct form 1 or direct form 2, 
the numerator and denominator of h of z should contain only negative power of z. Here h of z has got positive powers of z that is z cube here power is 3, 4 z square here power is plus 2, 11 z here, here power is plus 1. We will try to convert it into negative power of z. So divide numerator and denominator of h of z by z cube. That is here numerator that is 8 z cube divided by z cube that will be 8. By dividing 4 z square by z cube we will get 4 z inverse. 11 z divided by z cube will get 8 z raised to minus 2. 2 divided by z cube will get 2 z raised to minus 3. Similarly on denominator side di divide by z cube. We will get z cube by z cube that is 1. 5 by 4 z square divided by z cube will get 5 by 4 z raised to minus 1. 3 by 4 z divided by z cube will get 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2. And finally we will get minus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 3. This is the first thing to do. Let us take the first direct form 1 realization. As we know in direct form realization, direct form 1 realization, transfer function h of z is split into h1 of z and h2 of z where h1 of z represents zeros of the transfer function. So h1 of z is equal to w of z by x of z. So I can say w of z equal to x of z into h1 of z. x of z is the input keep it as it is and h1 of z as I said zeros of the transfer function that is numerator that is 8 minus 4 z inverse plus 11 z raised to minus 2 minus 2 raised to 2 z raised to minus 3. Now take the inverse z transform on both sides. Inverse z transform of w of z is w of n on right hand side. 8 x of z is 8 x of n. x of z into 4 z inverse is nothing but 4 x of n minus 1. 11 z raised to minus 2 into x of z its inverse z transform is 11 which is constant as it is x of z z raised to minus 2 is x of n minus 2 2 is constant keep it as it is inverse z transform of z raised to minus 3 into x of z is x of n minus 3. Now according to this equation w of n is the output x of n is the input. Here let us draw the structure. So here this is the x of n which is input which should be on left hand side. w of n is the output which should be on the right hand side. So as per my equation 8 x of n here the magnitude is 8 there is no any delay so it can be directly connected to the summer that is with the magnitude multiplied by 8 that is 8 connected to summer. Next, minus 4 x of n minus 1. Here, the input signal should be delayed by 1. So, we are supposed to use delay element. Delay element is represented by z inverse. So, x of n is the input which is passing through delay element. The output of this is x of n minus 1. The output at this point is x of n minus 1, which should be multiplied by minus 4. So, that we will get minus 4 x of n minus 1 which should be connected to summer. In our equation the next term is 11 x of n minus 2. So here the input signal should be delayed by two elements. It should pass it through two delay elements. At this point I have x of n minus 1 pass x of n minus 1 through another delay element. So at this point I will get x of n minus 2 and which should be multiplied by 11 connected to summer. The last term that is minus 2 x of n minus 3 here the input should pass through three delay elements. So anyhow the in, uh, signal available at this point is x of n minus 2 pass through another element the output available at this point is x of n minus 3 which should be multiplied by minus 2 and connected to 
summer. All things will be added to this summer. So output of this summer is equal to W of n, which is 8x of n minus 4x of n minus 1 plus 11x of n minus 2 minus 2x of n minus 3. Another subsystem H2 of Z which represents poles of the transfer function. And we know H2 of Z is equal to Y of Z by W of Z. Therefore, I can write Y of Z is equal to W of Z H2 of Z, which in turn can be written as W of Z multiplied with poles of the transfer function that is 1 upon 1 minus 5 by 4 Z inverse plus 3 by 4 Z raised to minus 2 minus 1 by 8 Z raised to minus 3. Simplifying this, Send this denominator on left hand side and simplify. Y of Z is minus 5 by 4 Z inverse Y of Z. 3 by 4 Z raised to minus 2 Y of Z. Minus 1 by 8 Z raised to minus 3 Y of Z is equal to W of Z. Simplify this further. Keep Y of Z on left hand side. I can write Y of Z is equal to W of Z plus Y by 4 5 by 4 Z, Z inverse Y of Z minus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2 y of z plus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 3 y of z. Now take inverse z transform of above equation. i z t of y of z is y of n. Inverse z transform of w of z is w of n. Inverse z transform of z inverse y of z is y of n minus 1. 5 by 4 is a constant multiplier. Keep it as it is. Minus 3 by 4 Z transform, inverse Z transform of Z raised to minus 2 Y of Z is Y of N minus 2 and 1 by 8 Y of N minus 3. Now let us draw the structure. So here W of N is the input, Y of N is the output. As per our equation, Y of N is equal to W of N plus Y of N minus 1. I, so Y of N minus 1 means I should pass Y of N through one delay element so that I'll get y of n minus 1. So at this point, the, output, the signal available is y of n pass through delay element that is z inverse. The output of z inverse is y of n minus 1, which should be multiplied by 5 by 4. That is constant multiplier. So it will be connected to summer or adder. The next term is minus 3 by 4 y of n minus 2. So here, I should pass y of n through two delay elements. At this point, the output available is y of n minus 1. Pass through another delay element. The output at this point is y of n minus 2, which should be multiplied with the constant multiplier that is minus 3 by 4 and connected to summer. Take <coughs> y of n minus 3. So here, the output available at this point is y of n minus 2 pass through another delay element. The output available at this point is y of n minus 3 multiplied with the constant multiplier 1 by 8 and connected to adder. So this is complete structure of direct form 1 realization. Let's draw the complete structure of direct form 1 realization. This equation is with respect to h1 of z where output is w of n input was x of n and this equation is with respect to h2 of z where output is y of n and input is w of n. Using these two equations the direct form 1 complete structure is shown here. So the left hand side structure is with respect to the first equation and right hand side structure is with respect to second equation. Those two are cascaded. So we will get the complete structure of direct form 1 realization. Let us see what is the alternate method for direct form 1 realization. <coughs> this can be done directly. The given equation is h of z equal to y of z by x of z. Write the equation such that numerator and denominator should have inverse power of z. Now do the cross multiplication. We will get y of z minus 5 by 4 z inverse y of z plus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2 y of z minus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 3 y of z. On right hand side we will get 8 x of z 4 z inverse x of z 
11 z raised to minus 2 x of z minus 2 z raised to minus 3 x of z. Taking inverse z transform on both sides, we'll get y of n minus 5 by 4 y of n minus 1 plus 3 by 4 y of n minus 2 minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 3 and on right hand side we'll get 8 x of n x of n is inverse z transform of x of z inverse z transform of z inverse x of z is x of n minus 1 that is minus 4 x of n 1 n minus 1 similarly 11 x of n minus 2 minus 2 x of n minus 3 so write the equation such that y of n should be on left hand side y of n is equal to this entire thing now draw the direct form one structure with respect to the bow equation Let us take direct form 2 realization. As we know, in direct form 2 realization, the sub block H1 of Z will consider it as poles of transfer function and H2 of Z as zeros of transfer function. So here, H1 of Z is equal to W of Z by X of Z. Therefore, I can write W of Z is equal to X of Z into poles of transfer function. That is 1 upon 1 minus 5 by 4 Z inverse plus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2 minus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 3. Simplifying this, we'll get w of z minus 5 by 4 z inverse w of z plus 3 by 4 z raised to minus 2 w of z minus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 3 w of z is equal to x of z. Taking inverse z transform on both sides, we'll get w of n minus 5 by 4 w of n minus 1 plus 3 by 4 w of n minus 2 minus 1 by 8 w of n minus 3 which is equal to x of n. Therefore, we can rewrite the above equation as w of n is equal to x of n plus 5 by 4 w of n minus 1 minus 3 by 4 w of n minus 2 plus 1 by 8 w of n minus 3. This equation is with respect to the output of first sub block that is h1 of z. Similarly, h2 of z represent zeros of the transfer function that we can represent, write it as y of z is equal to w of z into h2 of z, w of z multiplied with h2 of z, h2 of z is zeros of transfer function that is 8 minus 4 z inverse plus 11 z raised to minus 2 minus 2 z raised to minus 3. Simplifying, we'll get y of z is equal to 8 w of z minus 4 z inverse w of z plus 11 z raised to minus 2 w of z minus 2 z raised to minus 3 w of z. Now take again inverse z transform on both sides. We'll get y of n is equal to 8 w of n minus 4 w of n minus 1 plus 11 w of n minus 2 minus 4 w of n minus 3. So this is the complete structure of direct form 2 realization. Let us analyze direct form 1 structure. We know in direct form 1 structure, this structure represents zeros of the transfer function and this structure represents poles of the transfer function. In case of direct form 2 structure, these two blocks will be interchanged. That is, this block will be shown here. So this is zeros of the transfer function and this is poles of the transfer function. So here in direct form 2 structure the number of delay elements required is 3 Whereas in case of direct form 1 structure, number of delay elements required is 6. Let us take another example. Determine the direct form 1 and direct form 2 realization. Given equation is, given difference equation is y of n is equal to minus 0.1 y of n minus 1, 0.72 y of n minus 2, 
प्लस पॉइंट सेवन एक्स ऑफ एन माइनस पॉइंट टू फाइव एक्स ऑफ एन माइनस टू फर्स्ट टेक द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑन बोथ साइड द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वाई ऑफ एन इज वाई ऑफ जेड विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस पॉइंट वन विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट Z transform of y of n minus one is z inverse y of z. Point seven two z raised to minus two y of z plus point seven x of z minus point two five z raised to minus two x of z. Simplifying this, taking y of z on left hand side and x of z on right hand side, and simplifying further, we'll get y of z taking common as and one plus Point one z raised to minus one minus point seven two z raised to minus two is equal to x of z multiplied with point seven minus point two five z raised to minus two. So this is the transfer function of given difference equation. That is h of z is equal to y of z by x of z. Point seven minus point two five z raised to minus two divided by one plus point one z raised to minus one minus point seven two z raised to minus two. Now let us realize using direct form one structure, and we know in direct form one structure, h of z is split into h one of z and h two of z. H one of z represents poles of h of z, zeros of h of z, and h two of z represents poles of the h of z. Here, the output of first block h one of z, which is equal to w of z, is equal to x of z multiplied with h one of z. So x of z H1 of z is zeros of the transfer function. That is 0.7 minus 25 z raised to minus 2. Taking inverse z transform, we'll get w of n is equal to minus point is equal to plus 0.7 x of n minus 0.25 x of n minus 2. Now take the another sub system that is h2 of z which is for which the input is w of n and output is y of n therefore i can write y of z is equal to w of z dot h2 of z which is equal to w of z poles that is poles of the transfer function that is 1 upon 1 plus 0.1 z raised to minus 1 minus 0.72 z raised to minus 2 simplifying y of z Plus 0.1 z raised to minus 1 y of z minus 0.72 z raised to minus 2 y of z w of z. Taking inverse z transform on both side, we'll get y of n is equal to w of n minus 0.1 y of n minus 1 minus 0.72 y of n minus 2. That is equation number two. Now, using equation one and two, we can draw the structure. Let us take direct form two realization. Here, h of z is split into h one of z and h two of z. H one of z represents poles of h of z, and h two of z represents zeros of h of z. So, we can write for the first block h one of z input is x of n, and output is w of n. Therefore, w of z is equal to x of z into h one of z. So h1 of z represent poles. That is 1 upon 1 plus 0.1 z raised to minus 1 minus 0.72 z raised to minus 2. Simplifying this, we'll get w of z plus 0.1 z raised to minus 1 w of z minus 0.72 z raised to minus 2 w of z x of z. Take inverse z transform. We'll get w of n plus 0.1 w of n minus 1 minus 0.72 w of n minus 2 x of n. Okay, let us represent this equation as in the form w of n as output. W of n is equal to x of n minus 0.1 w of n minus 1, 0.72 w of n minus 2. Call it as equation number one. And similarly, h2 of z, which represents <coughs> zeros of the transfer function, that is y of z equal to w of z h2 of z is equal to w of z multiplied with 0.7 minus 0.25 z raised to minus 2. Simplifying y of z equal to 0.7 w of z minus 0.25 z raised to minus 2 w of z. Take inverse z transform on both side. We'll get y of n 
is equal to 0.7 w of n minus 0.25 w of n minus 2. Using equation number 1 and equation 2, direct form 2 is realized as shown here. Shown here. Take another example. A linear time invariant digital air filter is specified by the following transfer function. This is given transfer function. Realize the system in the following forms. Direct form 1 and direct form 2. In a given equation, Z is having positive powers. First, we will try to represent the numerator and denominator such that Z will be having negative powers. Simplify the given equation. We will get H of Z equal to like this. Simplifying further, we will get H of Z equal to Z raised to 4 minus 2Z cube minus Z square plus 2Z divided by Z square minus Z plus 1 by 2 and Z square plus 1 by 16. Simplify further, we will get H of Z equal to this equation. Now, in this equation, the highest power of numerator is Z raised to 4. And I said H of Z should have negative power of Z. So divide numerator and denominator by Z raised to minus 4. We will get X of Z equal to by dividing numerator and denominator of H of Z, we will get H of Z equal to 1 minus 2 Z raised to minus 3 minus Z raised to minus 2 plus 2 Z raised to minus 3 divided by denominator Z raised to 4 divided by Z raised to 4 that is 1 minus Z cube divided by Z raised to 4 is Z raised to minus 1 plus 9 by 16 Z raised to minus 2 minus 1 by 16 Z raised to minus 3 plus 1 by 32 Z raised to minus 4. Simplifying further, cross multiplying will get this equation. Then take the inverse Z transform on both sides. We will get y of n minus y of n minus 1 plus 9 by 16 y of n minus 2 minus 1 by 16 y of n minus 3 plus 1 by 32 y of n minus 4 is equal to x of n minus 2x of n minus 1 minus 2x of n minus 2 plus 2x of n minus 3. Simplifying further, we will get y of n is equal to this equation. Now draw the direct form 1 realization and it is shown here. Let us see direct form 2 realization. <coughs> Same h of z is split into h1 of z and h2 of z. h1 of z represents poles of z and h2 of z represents zeros of h of z. Therefore, w of z is equal to x of z into h1 of z. That is x of z into poles. That is 1 upon 1 minus z raised to minus 1 plus 9 by 16 z raised to minus 2 minus 1 by 16 z raised to minus 3 plus 1 by 32 z raised to minus 4. Cross power multiplying, we get this equation. And take inverse z transform, we'll get w of n is equal to w of n minus 1 minus 9 by 16 w of n minus 2 plus 1 by 16 w of n minus 3 minus 1 by 32 w of n minus 4. Now take the second subsystem that is H2 of z where input is w of n and output is y of n. So we can write y of z is equal to w of z into h2 of z where h2 of z is zeros of the transfer function that is 1 minus 2z inverse minus z raised to minus 2 plus 2z raised to minus 3. Simplifying we will get this equation. Now take the inverse z transform on both sides we will get y of n is equal to w of n minus 2w of n minus 1 minus w of n minus 2 plus 2w of n minus 3. Now using equation 1 and 2 we can draw the structure which is shown here. 